Good evening and salam ibu pertiwiku. Houthi forces in Yemen have made a drone attack on oil facilities at Sheba in Saudi Arabia. The Yemeni movement's Al Masira television said the facilities attack included a refinery and oil storage. It did not say when the attack took place. Sheba, operated by state oil company Saudi Aramco, is located in the east of the kingdom, close to the United Arab Emirates border. The Houthis, who control Sana'a and most of Yemen's other populous areas, have stepped up attacks against targets in Saudi Arabia in recent months. In response, the Saudi-led coalition has targeted military sites belonging to the group, especially around Sana'a. There was no immediate Saudi confirmation or comment. The main group fighting an insurgency in Thailand's largely Muslim South said it had held its first meeting with officials from the new Thai government and had set out demands as a condition for any formal peace talks. The insurgency in the Malay-speaking region of the predominantly Buddhist country has killed some 7,000 people over the past 15 years and has flared on and off for decades. Officials of the Barisan Revolusi Nasional said they met a Thai delegation at a location in Southeast Asia on Friday and demanded the release of all people detained over suspected links to the insurgency and a transparent investigation into abuses by security forces. The officials said that that could be a step towards formal talks while emphasizing that it was very early in the process. General Udom Chai Tam Sarorat, the head of peace dialogue with southern insurgent groups for the Thai government, declined to comment on whether a meeting had taken place. A pro-Hong Kong rally in Melbourne CBD turned violent on Friday evening as protesters clashed with nationalist Chinese demonstrators. The rally began at 7 p.m. outside the State Library in Swanston Street, and the number swelled until there were more than 1,000 people at least half of whom appeared to be pro-China protesters. The demonstration began with an acknowledgement of the Wurunjeri ancestral owners, but before the pro-Hong Kong organizer could get through the first line, a cheer broke out at the perimeter and a Chinese flag was held above the crowd. This set off a series of scuffles, mostly pushing and shoving, at the southern side of the library lawn. Police appeared to be caught unaware by the scale of the protest, and only intervene when pro-Chinese demonstrators surged towards the pro-Hong Kong side. By this time, scuffles had been breaking out for about 40 minutes. Police having been reinforced eventually formed a solid barrier and members of each group retreated to their respective sides. The shutdown, this shutdown flare-ups of aggression, save for a small fight near the Latrobe Sand intersection. There were no injuries reported. The Melbourne protest follows a number of clashes at other pro-Hong Kong rallies in other Australian capital cities on Friday. Well, that's all the news for today. I am Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching. Good night.